read it and weep, ladies. Oh, yeah. Read it and weep. Yeah. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. All right, who put the damn Metro card in here? <laughs> Whose Metro card is this? Whose is this? Y'all, I lost $50. Wait a minute, Rita. Say 50. 50. <laughs> now say shifty. Sh no! <laughs> A Guatemalan busboy can't speak a word of English, but he has an ass you can bounce a nickel no. off. No, of. I'm telling you. Come by later. I'll show you. It's the wildest thing. Hey, will he come with us on our little poker trip? Oh. I'll bring the nickels. <laughs> what poker trip? Oh, every year we take our cussing and slutting and debauchery on the road. Yeah, you should come. We get a freak gone. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Where y'all going? The Bahamas, Paradise Island. Say, wait a minute. Who decided we were going to the Bahamas? Who, who, who said that? Who decided that? We all decided, but three weeks ago, it was tequila night, remember? <laughs> now, you know I cannot remember anything on tequila night. That's why I created tequila night. <laughs> well, we all thought it would be a good idea, and Sulin got us cheap flights online. I use that new Asian internet company. I know pay that dot com. <laughs> They're good. I heard you can get a flight for $150. Really? I know pay that. <laughs> Well, she no pay that. I'm not, uh, I'm not going, y'all. Oh, for God's sakes. We're all gonna be in bathing suits. Relax. <laughs> no, come on. You know, why don't we just go to, you know, one of the Indian casinos, like Foxwoods. You know, Connecticut is gorgeous this time of year. If you can find it under the snow. What is it with those Indian casinos? I mean, sure, the white man screwed them, but they screwed your people, too. Why don't they make Harlem a casino? <laughs> <laughs> white people lose their money in Harlem all the time. Take a walk. <laughs> Mavis, why you don't want to go to the Bahamas? Because I don't fly, okay? I don't fly. You don't are, ask me again. You are still afraid of flying? Yes. Now, look, you know, I believe we covered all of this on Bourbon Night. <laughs> well, if Mavis isn't going, I'm not going. What? what? Sophia. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It's the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mayra, you gotta come to Paradise Island with us. Look, I told you I don't fly. Let's get off the subject, okay? But just let me paint this picture for you. Is this gonna be a long story? Yes. <laughs> okay. Go on. All right. Now, it's you in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You laying out on the beach. Yeah. Waves rolling in the background doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. And you toe up from the flow up because you've been getting your drink on all day long. All right. Okay, all right. you hear what I'm saying? Now, you hungry. Mm -hmm. But it's all good because they got that all-you-can-eat buffet. Ooh. Yeah, girl. About an hour later, yeah. you got shrimp all stuck up in your teeth. Oh, for real? Yeah, but it don't matter because you're wearing some stretchy pants. Oh. Yeah. And you don't got to unzip nothing. You could just let all that be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And guess what? What? We ain't even played no cards yet. No? No, we ain't even started shaking our booty yet. Uh -oh. It's 4 o'clock in the morning and we just getting started. Yeah. Ho! Go, Mavis! Holla! Holla! Okay. <laughs> Not going. May Ray, are you boycotting this trip because of me? Go talk to Boo. Courtney, why she always be hating on me? It's not you, Rita. Mavis has a certifiable fear of flying. When our Aunt Jenny died in Los Angeles, she made them postpone the funeral so she could drive. Why are you always throwing that up in my face? Aunt Jenny was dead, dead, dead. It wasn't like she was going anywhere. And it gave her more time to get her hair and makeup done, child, because you know she was a dog. Oh, no, child, a howling, oh, no. Mavis. You know, it's more likely that you'd get into an accident in a car or a bus than you would a plane. No, everybody says that. But I've had messages from God, you know. I've had planes that have had bumpy landings, the wind shears, the whole thing. And the last time I flew, I had a guy sit next to me die. <gasps> oh, the flight killed him? No, child. He was smoked. God smote him. <laughs> as a message to me. Well, at least he had a purpose, Mavis. Well, yeah. I mean, because there I was sitting next to him. He just did like this. Oh! 
I, you know, I tried to get him up and everything. I, I signaled to the stewardess. She comes over, she looks, she said, hmm, dead. And then offered me some peanuts and some tiny wine. Well, I could see why you would be bugging. Yeah. But there's gotta be something you could take. There is. A bus. <laughs> I heard Mavis isn't going to the Bahamas with her friends. Yeah, she's afraid. Who's afraid of the Bahamas? <laughs> Stupid, she's afraid of flying. Well, that makes even less sense. Aeroplanes are safer than taxi cabs. Oh, right, especially your husband. <laughs> At least he's married, you pompous celibate. <laughs> Shut your pie hole, you peasant. Are you doing swim fast? Yeah, I lost about six pounds. <laughs> You look fantastic. Oh, you're such a dear. <laughs> okay, I don't pay you guys to stand around and play kissy face. Actually, you are. Nassim just told me about your cowardly fear of flying, and it was on company time. I would duck him. Now, Mavis, look, I, I think it's okay. Look, you're afraid of flying. I'm still afraid of airports. You know, security has gone insane. You know, they say, where are you going? What is the purpose of your trip? If I say business, they take me to the little room. If I say pleasure, I go to the little room. And then they bring out the dreaded plastic gloves. <laughs> you know, they're actually allowed to search inside of you? <laughs> I tell you, you're not going to find Bin Laden in there. I'm just trying to catch that visual. Yeah. All I'm saying is everyone thinks their fear is greater than everyone else's. Now, Sim, look, I really wish I wasn't afraid of flying, but I am, so let's drop it, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Because, right. you know, no, I, know, I, know. I feel fine. dumb. You know? no, I'm with you. All right. All right. Hello, Mavis. Hello, my brother. <laughs> May Ray, I got a gift for you. It's perfect for you. Guess what it is? Cash. <laughs> no. Rent check. <laughs> no. And obviously, you have not shopped well for me. I signed you up for a fear flying class. Oh, great, but I've already got the fear of flying. You're not even gonna try? It's only one weekend. No. Mavis, I'll take the class with you. Oh, well, let me think about that. Um, let's see, wait, I'm still thinking. Thinking. Well, at least she said she'll think about it. I hear you're too much of a wuss to take your fear of flying class. Well, what good would it do? You know I'm not getting on the plane. There's got to be a mix of drugs that'll do the trick. <laughs> yeah, general anesthetic. Well, where am I going to keep the IV drip? You know, people get very nasty about their overhead compartment space. I do like that guy that mailed himself in a box. I can give you a couple of roofies, take you down to UPS, and ship you overnight. <laughs> Apparently, it's cheaper, too. Yeah, maybe. But still, I'd be so uncomfortable not knowing what was going on in the cockpit. Mm. I know. It's Howard from United. Chris from Delta. That old bastard with a toupee from Value Jet. <laughs> Talk about foam in the runway. <laughs> Was that supposed to make me feel better about what goes on in the cockpit? You know, Rita spent a lot of money on that fear of flying class. The least you can do is take it. Excuse me, I didn't ask her to do that. And more importantly, if you don't go, Danielle, Sue Lin, Rita, and me have to kick in an extra hundred bucks to cover your share. I didn't ask you to do that either. Oh, come on. You owe me. I have always been there for you. When? Who talked you out of going to AA? It's going to be okay, Mavis. No, no, no. It's not a plane, it's a flight simulator. I don't trust these people. Y'all are gonna get me on that plane, the door's gonna close. How do I know that plane isn't gonna take off? Oh, May Ray, the flight simulator ain't got no wings. They could always put them on. <laughs> Girl, look, this is where you get the full experience, okay? We're gonna walk over here, we're gonna hand in our tickets, then we're gonna walk through this jetway into the flight simulator where the class is taught. I don't believe you. This is like that time when mom and dad took buttons to the farm. But they really had him put to sleep. 
buttons? No, I saw pictures. It was a dirt road. It was a dirt nap. Okay, maybe I, I got you here, so I, I'm going now. No, 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 what's your hurry? What's your hurry? Look at all those people looking at me. It's like being at a real airport. Look at them staring at me, <laughs> accusing me, searching me with their eyes. I know what they're thinking. Nassim, what? Your fly is down. <laughs> it's like the mouse got out of the house. Your attention, please. Simulated flight 523 is now boarding. No, I'm not going, no. It's okay, Mavis. You, you won't touch the ground. No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't pick me up. That's me. Pull me down. Pull me down. You got to give me some hernia. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Just let me get a breath. Just let me get a breath. Let the people on. Let me get me. Yeah, I'm fine, girl. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, look at her. I want to go over here. You, you're gonna like school. I don't like. School. You're gonna learn new things. You're gonna meet new friends. Come on. Here. Oh, hi, hi. My name's Eddie. You, you want to sit next to me? <laughs> go to hell, Eddie. <laughs> Come on, Mavis. We're gonna sit down. Sit down with these people. Right over there. Well, hello there, <laughs> and welcome aboard Safety First Airlines. I'm your captain. <laughs> Captain Anderson. You're a captain? I'm a psychologist with a pilot's license. Dressed as a captain. Okay. Costume, costume. We're trying to make the experience as authentic as possible, so if you'll just have a seat. Maybe it's not a so ridiculous. I'd like to introduce my co-pilot, Sheila. <laughs> what do you say, guys? Kind of makes you float on some smoother air, doesn't it? <laughs> Welcome aboard, y'all. I'm co-pilot. That's the co-ho. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate all of you for having the courage to take this very important first step. In fact, give yourselves a round of applause. Now, I think the best approach is to dive right in. So let's hear what scares some of you about flying. Sir, uh, I don't get how a million pound hunk of metal can stay in the air. <laughs> well, have you ever put your hand outside the window of a speeding car? No. <laughs> That resistance is what keeps the plane aloft. Yeah, until the engine stops. You're letting your fear get the better of you. Look, I'm using common sense, mister. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. Wind shears, pilot errors, you know, toilets that suck you right through the little hole. You're frightening everyone. You got sudden turbulence, or you got iced up wings, or you got those bird strikes. Bird strikes? Mm -hmm, that's right. You flying along, just minding your own business, and suddenly there's a suicidal flock of geese heading towards your engine. They don't do nothing. They don't even honk and let you know they're coming. I just whoop, and you got toilet paper all over the place. I go think you're losing control of the class, dear. <laughs> Rita left this in the kitchen. Oh, yes. She went shopping today for her trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> What's this? It's a hairnet or a bikini. To wear in public? This is uncouth. Absolutely. I can't imagine Rita wearing that. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. What kind of junket is she going on? She'll be besieged by Bahamian beefcake. Relax. Just because she's dressed like a whore does not mean she will be accepting money. Courtney, don't worry. Rita loves you, so you've got nothing to worry about. I just can't picture Rita wearing this. Really? How hard are you trying? This whole thing is a joke. I'm leaving. Oh, fine. Go ahead and leave. Live your life like a big, fat baby. Who are you calling a big fat baby? Nobody calls me a big fat baby. Well, that's what you are. If you can't do normal things and go places with your friends. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth takeoff. Not so bad, is it? What is that? I can't stop shaking. I'm scared. Girl, miss. What? What? We're gonna be all right. No, we're not. Oh, we're gonna die here in the fake place. Oh, I can't believe it. You just struck me. 
Well, I had to. You was getting hysterical. I have never been hysterical in my entire life, you cow. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you, you Eminem wannabe black but can't because you always going to be a spoiled rich girl. What? Drop the act. Seriously, This is no act, okay? This is who I am. Yeah, right. You might be able to put that over on my brother, but you're not gonna put it over on me, Miss Thang. <laughs> See, you don't know what's up. You don't know nothing about me, Mavis. Oh, please, what's there to know? You just some trifling little girl who spends all her daddy's money getting her nails did. My daddy don't pay for Jack. Mm. I pay my own damn bills. <laughs> Shoot, you think I'm just some hooch who got nothing up here? Girl, I got a degree, okay? And I got a diversified portfolio. I got Microsoft, I got Starbucks, I got Krispy Kreme. Hold up, hold up, you got Krispy Kreme, girl? That's right, I'm down with economics. Shoot, every time you hork one of your glazed, I go ka -ching. See, you just like those people I spent all my life trying to get away from. Judgy people who always got something to say, but they don't got the 411 to back it up. Well, let me ask you something, Miss Girl. If you all that, what do you care what I think? I have to care what you think. Someday you're gonna be Auntie Mayray to mine and Courtney's little Cocoa Puffs. What's wrong with you? You've just given me a greater fear than flying. You, you know what? For a second, I, f I forgot we were on this thing. Well, yeah, I was just trying to keep it real. You know what? Free read. You're right, girl. Let's try to keep it real. Rita. What? Come here, girl. Now we're even. Now that's keeping it real, real. Even. What the hell is going on? I think the simulators crashed. What? You think? What you think? Look, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Your girlfriend is gone for three hours. Already you are looking at porn? <laughs> no. This is the swimming pool at the hotel where Rita's going to stay. It's debauchery. <laughs> You want to see debauchery? <clears throat> Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> They have this filth on their website? This is the Hilton in Paris? Not exactly. <laughs> I don't think I like the idea of Rita going to the Bahamas without me. You Americans are always so prudish about your relationships. Maybe she will learn a few things she can try on you. <laughs> All you have to do is to get past where she learned it. It's not that I don't trust Rita. It's the islands I don't trust. I went to Sinbad Soul Jam, and I know the effect Rum and Ray Parker Jr. can have on a young innocent. Oh, thank God you are here. We were just about to hear more. How did it go? The flight simulator crashed. What? How does a flight simulator crash? It was another message from God. <laughs> There we were sitting. And God said, Mavis? I said, yes, Lord. <laughs> He said, I don't told you about this. I said, I know, Lord. I didn't want to go. Rita made me. And then the Lord said, look, the girl has thine own divine light in her. You see what she done with Krispy Kremes? I said, yes, Lord, I see what she done with Krispy Kremes. The Lord said, follow through. Do not put another cream in thine face, but invest thine dough. But well, Mavis, huh? if you're gonna stop eating Krispy Kreme, then I might as well stop investing in them. Back up, y'all. The Lord's about to smote her. Thank you, Marcus. Hey, Mavis, I 
I love Bahamas Night. It was a great idea. Listen, thank you guys for bringing this stuff back. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. It's cheap. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marco. So, I will say, your man's as appetite. Ain't it the truth? Yeah. Yeah. Here, take a nickel. Give it a shot. All right. All right. Hey. Try to get saying, do not fly no more. So, I didn't. <laughs> But let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Let's see. Your fly is down. <laughs> Looks like the house. Looks like... <laughs>